Well, you know, Plow and Hearth has been around since 1980, down in Madison, Virginia, a beautiful place in uh, Virginia, and great people who really care about what they're giving you to add joy to your garden. You're mm -hmm. adding distinction. You're adding something unique and special because your garden should be memorable. Yes. When people come and you have lunch out on your back deck or you have them over for dinner, you want them to remember your garden. You want them to feel that peace and that joy that you have. And so this is a way to add texture, beauty, something unique and Plow and Hearth has a great relationship with QVC. They want you to experience that same joy and so it's a really great relationship. And on a great value. Mm -hmm. I can't get over this particular value on a clearance price. So you're getting a set of two for $18 or excuse me $16.97. Mm -hmm. So that's about $8 each. So you're going to make a choice of here in this beautiful glass totem with the shepherd's hook. So the shepherd's hook is included. Yes. This is going to be the choice of your um, green and pink. No? No, I'm green sorry. This will be is this blue and purple. I apologize. Right. Blue and purple, green and pink, and then finally your blue green. So you have three color choices mm -hmm. and you're getting that shepherd's hook, a set of two, but look at what you did. You can really invert it. You if can you mix want it to take up it a little. The shepherd's hook. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll look, look at the center one and okay. kind of let you know what we've got. So it could with the same ones, you can do either way to display it. So here we have it on the shepherd's hook. And that is where the finial itself is just hanging on the shepherd's hook. So that is one way to display mm. it. If you'd like to display it like a totem like this or just the finial sticking in the ground, you're going to take off the shepherd's hook part and you're going to take off the little loop and then you're just going to screw that on top of this. So you can do it either way or I actually like it kind of mixed up where I have a little bit of both. I love things that are a little asymmetrical. I know, it's because it's unexpected. Mm -hmm. And I like that you added height to your flowers. Yes. So maybe you have some smaller, shorter flowers. Yes. Add some height or just interest and dimension to your garden. Yes. And it looks great from any angle. I mean, it they're does. fully finished all the way around. They're almost like a whole bunch of um, like little reflecting globes or, ah. you know, a gazing ball. Yeah. Now, I put these in my garden above my azaleas mm. because I wanted to add a little bit of height. My azaleas are rather new. You know, it takes a little while for them to get some you know height to them so this added some height to it it added some architectural design to it I love the fact that it's got that kind of shiny quality to it so you can mix these in with your flowers maybe you have stock maybe you have gladiolas and you want to just add a little bit of something extra and look, look at, at how it shines and the shine I know. from the sunlight and it's made of metal and glass so the construction yes. what you see looks like glass and looks incredibly delicate but when you feel it and I'm tapping my nails against it, it's very hardy. You do it's not sturdy. have to worry about these. Exactly. Again, Plow and Hearth makes sure that you can use these outside. Put these amongst your flowers. I think they'd look really pretty with maybe some um, white gardenias mm. or maybe you have, you know, like up against some kind of white flowers. Like I said, I have a picture that um, I that we can show that has that with my pink We're going into um, Nancy's azaleas. garden. That's right. And I really love these because I've I've had some fun with them out kind of further in my garden. I put some up against my house and I just really like the color and the height that they added. Mm -hmm. Just such a pretty added touch to your garden that you're just going to add some interest. It's spectacular mm -hmm. that you're getting the set of two with the shepherd's hook. Right for under $17 on a clearance price. So a clearance price means once these are gone, they are gone, no reorder mm -hmm. for about $8 each. What a beautiful look. And even if you're in a place that has a lot of shade and maybe you don't even have the flowers, like we're just playing right. with them mm -hmm. here, adding some color, texture, movement, design to the shrubbery or the boring spots. Right, exactly. In, so in if you have, your home. yeah, if you have some like boxwoods or something that yeah. doesn't have any color to it, this is so nice to put it kind of in front of there. So you have maybe that background of green or maybe you have some flowers a lot of our springtime flowers like azaleas they kind of die off and yeah. then all you do have is green so how nice to have color even past those springtime flowers that no longer are blooming you can still have that and again you get both ways to do it so you get the shepherd's hook but if you want to display it like a totem you just use the bottom portion of the shepherd's hook and then screw the totems on top of it okay so either way but I really like mixing it like this I will say though your dimensions will vary a little bit so us a totem 14 and a half inches high on the shepherd's hook 29 inches high and that clearance price for under $17 is a crazy value that you're getting a set of two the first day on this new markdown m52143 is your item number 
A little update though for you on how we started the show in case you're just joining us. Over a thousand have been ordered of the illuminated flower wall art. So you have a choice of a butterfly or that beautiful